Hey there! Welcome to the Dewey Draw Some More video series, where we mash together the Dewey Decimal System and your favorite fandoms to create hand-drawn masterpieces in a matter of minutes. Two rolls of the dice will determine the day's combination, and then our artists will get right to work putting pencil to paper. Are you ready? Let's see what the future has in store for us. Hey there, everybody. Um, oh, hold on. Whew. Oh. <laughs> this is graceful. Ah, okay. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode two of the Do We Draw Some More system. Or, sorry, do we draw some more videos? <laughs> I'm Mr. Chad. We got we got Matt up in that corner. Hey, Matt. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, if you've watched episode one, you kind of know how the system works here. Uh, right now, we are we are going with Pokemon, and we are rolling four random Pokemon and then mashing them up with uh, with book selections out of our system. So we also have Miss Amy in the ether, providing us with the, uh, the results to our rolls. So, um, Amy, do you wanna in, unmute yourself and say hi? Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amy, thank you for helping. Really appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. Happy to be here. All right. Well, uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll get started here. Um, we've got our, our handy 10-sided dice here. So we're going to roll three numbers and see what we get. So let's see here. We will do 379 and see which Pokemon we get here with, with that number choice. Registeel. Registeel. Okay, and, and just so you know, um, if you haven't watched the first video, we have no idea what this Pokemon looks like. Um, I don't know, Matt, Matt, Mike. I have a vague I, idea of Registeel. I've but... got, I've got nothing. So, <laughs> so uh, Matt, do you have your dice handy? Yep. All right. You, would you like to roll for our book selection? Oh, and off my desk they go. <laughs> uh, that's a seven. So 337. Oh, okay. So let's see where in the in the Dewey Decimal universe we're going to land with 337. International Ooh. Economics. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And so okay. Um, since I started off last time describing what, like, what popped into my head first, uh, Bob, you can go ahead and start this time. Okay, so I know the general idea of Registeel, but, I mean, if you're breaking down the name, what's it sound like? Steel yeah. Register. Uh, exactly. Easy. <laughs> so, that one's great for international economics, just... <laughs> International Register. Okay, all right. Only it's a Pokemon, so it's sentient and fights you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I was thinking um, international economics. Um, maybe it's somebody. Maybe it's a Pokemon that's learned to work the market and uh, uh, Reggie and and steals, like, like kind of oh. thieving. So I'm gonna go with more of a more of a bandit looking looking. Pokemon. More of a Carmen San Diego. Ah, there we go. Have the have the the cap pulled down. Um, do you mm -hmm. think that? Oh wait, they did reboot that show, didn't they? So so it, maybe it's not as oh, ancient yeah, of a reference for 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 the younger folk. It's probably still pretty old. It's okay. I'm fine with being thirty six or however old I am. Uh, growing up, my grandmother had this big old. A cash register in her basement that we'd love to play on because it didn't work anyway. Um, but now I cannot for the life of me remember how it looked.
my ridge of steel, uh, it, it has wings. But the body shape, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like it's a flightless bird, but, but that's all right. We're gonna, may, maybe it just uses its wings to like conceal itself. Uh, that kind of deal, like ducks into the shadows. Nice. <laughs> I love your ridge of steel. <laughs> very, very businessy. Yep. <laughs> Feel like the, this ridge of steel needs to have like a, a money bag or something, and it's and it's clutches here. I don't really think bags of money have big dollar signs on the side, but but that's what we're going with here. I mean, if you're using your own bag, why not? Style. Yeah, I mean, sure. And what what's up with that bag with the big dollar sign? Oh, that's my that's my bag that I use for for stealing money. I mean, if you're uh, if you're going to be serious about any profession, you should accessorize. Speaking of Registeel, on mine probably could use another accessory. <laughs> so why not? But anybody watching, um, I I don't think I mentioned this last time, or I, I I put it in typed words at the end. Uh, but if you would like to do your own version of Registeel. And share it with us in the in the comments section below below the video down here. That would be awesome because we'd love to know that you're watching and participating with us from home. So because I know Matt and I are definitely enjoying having the the opportunity to do this and sit here and have you watch us doodle. I it's it's a yeah. pretty sweet deal, really. So, Matt, did you see? Did did you um, participate in any of like the the virtual art beat put on by downtown South Bend or the the Rebel Art Fest that that they uh, had online? I did not actually. Um, it was it was. I knew it was coming up, but I kind of lost track of it, honestly. Yeah, it's. It's been a little bit tougher since everything's been forced to go kind of virtual. Um, it was interesting. It's an experience like when you're used to going to those big, those big gatherings like that. It's it's a bit of a change of pace, but um, got to see some of my art friends on there, which was pretty cool. Uh, doing all all kinds of all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, friends, uh, Melody Foster and Adam. Honestly, I don't know if I saw them on there this year. They they did it last year. I'm not sure if they participated or not this year. Um, if they're watching, mm -hmm. like to hear from my, I've seen both of them posting some great art to their pages, out of their Facebook pages. Um, Adam's stuff. Particularly, that dude is growing leaps and bounds. It is, it is crazy. He got a he got a new graphics tablet, and the the work that he's putting out is pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, Amy got back to us with with a few book selections under the three thirty two number. Um, under Sorry. under children's. Nonfiction. Uh, there's uh, Heads Up Money with Marcus Weeks, which is described as an engaging introduction to economics from world markets to personal finance. So it, it's, it's a good one for the kids to look into because, I mean, having an early understanding of how money works, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I wish I knew as a kid. And building good habits, like learning to save your allowance. Um, I mean, learning, learning smart, smart things to do with your money is never a bad thing. So, okay. So, so Matt, what have you got going on there? Okay. So I didn't really make it as much international, um, but he does sell globes. So <laughs> very nice. Steel. One has a cash register for a head, but two, um, have you ever seen those little coin banks where you put coin on there and then a little like cat paw reaches out and scoops it in? Yeah. 
Yeah, so I based the rest of his body off of what I imagine one of those would look if you kind of continue it. Just <laughs> long arms, like a big bulky torso that fits in the box. And then just itty bitty legs. <laughs> oh, so so he's probably not the best sprinter. But, uh, uh, no, but, but 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 he can take your money like a champ. Yeah, he can he can take your money. He can store your money, and he sells globes. And there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I took the uh, the Carmen San Diego thing, kind of ran with it. My version of Rage of Steel uh, has that cap. When we when I was talking about thieves. Uh, birds were the first thing that popped into my mind because there there are birds like magpies and and others that like to like to take shiny trinkets. So we've got the Carmen San Diego cap and an homage, if you will, and a and a fresh bag of loot hanging from its talons. So oh, and and the plumage with the uh, with the fake beard. So uh, that was a nice touch. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And, uh, thanks for the idea. Um, all right. Well, I, I guess that brings this to uh, to an end there. Uh, once again, any of our viewers out there, if you would like to create your own registeel and tie it to international economics international and finance, economics. yeah, um, love to see what you can come up with. Um, but until next time, I'm Mr. Chad, and I'm Mr. Matt. Now uh, we will uh, we'll see you later on.